Hello everyone and welcome back to the Gaming by Geeks channel. My name is Adam and I am back with Open TTD episode 9. Firstly, my apologies for the delay between episodes. Um, I think my last episode was what? End of June? So it's uh, it's been a few months. Uh, sorry about that. I've got some free time again so uh, I shall be back to uh, back to regular episodes again uh, if you don't want to miss any episodes I highly recommend that you subscribe and uh, hit the bell so that you get a no notification when a video is released I also have a confession this is not the first episode 9 I actually recorded one already and uh, it turns out when, when the when I watched the video back and went to edit it, the volume was so ridiculously loud on the audio, you couldn't hear me at all. Like now, where there's a lot of noise going on, you just couldn't hear a thing. So uh, I have adjusted the audio, as you can see I've turned it right down, it's turned it down a bit more just to be safe. Um, yeah, so I had to scrap that whole episode, because the in-game audio and the microphone audio are all on the same track so uh, there was nothing I could do about that sadly so what I'm going to do is start off by giving you just a quick uh, recap of what I did in that episode so we are going to start off where are we going to start off on up here this is where I spent I want to say most of my time but certainly some of my time uh, as you can see, there is an absolute ton of, of these uh, oil fields, or whatever you want to call them, rigs, or rigs, that's the one. And over here, which is kind of camouflaged here, is a oil refinery. So I figured, let's try and get as much of this to there as I can. And I did that with, as you can see, quite a few ships and a couple of stations to uh, to stop the, the boats from just getting to on top of each other. Uh, and just a few trains, to be honest. They seem to be handling it, it kind of at the moment. Dundon Dock seems to have got a fair amount there, but there's a train about to come on its way back because there's two trains that services this station at the moment. There it is, that would be the other one, so that one will easily hoover up that 128,000, he says. Yes, they have 455,000, so he'll stop and, uh, and wait for this boat to hurry up and get in with its 94,000. There we go, there's a big one, 272. So between all these trains, I'm managing this quite well at the moment. I'm only doing like maybe these rigs I haven't expanded out to all the rest here yet so uh, I'm just gonna wanted to give that a little bit of time to make sure that that was all uh, working just fine which it seems to be and then at some point I will obviously it's a massive station I'll put some some goods trains in here which can be you know delivered off to wherever and that looks like a, a good possibility doesn't it put another two platforms there or something and we can deliver goods so that's probably what I'll do next actually but going back to what I did in episode 8 uh, sorry episode 9 uh, we've got uh, oh, airports I started to expand in onto a, into much more uh, air flight that doesn't sound right but as you can see here's one of the new ones travel um, there was a few down here actually. There's one. Nant Haven. And they've all got these upgraded futuristic looking uh, airplanes called Dingers. Dinger 200s. They carry 400 passengers. Uh, so, yeah, they're doing alright. They look. That one might actually need a bit of help. Oh, a plane crash. Not one of ours. Don't look for it. Um, so there's, there's been a lot of, of that sort of thing, lots of um, 
lots of airports I've been putting in to try and get my aircraft revenue up. Um, as you can see, it's, it's slightly above trains. Um, back in 2024, 2025 uh, was double, almost double. So you can see I, I have done a big increase there. Uh, and I shall continue to, to do increases. Um, I may do another oil thing here, maybe. Oh, look, there's another one at Grimwood. And there's one of the uh, new super fast upgraded planes. These ones are super fast. These are the, the Concords of the game, or the new Concords of the game. Jeez, he is fast enough. <laughs> Struggling to keep him in frame. So Trevor here is a very busy airport. Um, I could probably do with putting something else in there, trains or something, I don't know. But it should be able to handle some fairly decent amounts of, um, of planes, to be honest. Oh, look, there's an old Concorde. So that, that's pretty much the, the very basics of what I did in the uh, in the now lost episode eight. There was a lot more. There was a lot of, as you've seen, replacing uh, airplanes with the newer, more efficient versions. I did some work down here to try and improve this. Uh, I did um, some more goods trains because there's a lot of goods here, and there is still. So I did a new line, which is this one here, which goes out to Sherpal. And this new train is doing just fine at £300,000 a year. Uh, so I need more, apparently. <laughs> but, uh, how's this one doing? Yeah, 175. Problem is they can only take 200 crates of goods. Oh, that's one of mine. Right. Let's deal with that quickly. So, firstly, it's free ditch, it's in the middle. I need a transparent buildings. And I need to clone the crashed aircraft and release it. And that one, that uh, crash plane, will clear itself out of the way in, in a fair amount. I don't know how long, but it will be a while. Uh, this plane needs to be replaced, but that plane no longer has. Um, that plane is no longer available. So where does where does this one go? Why why is it so small? It must go to a small a small airport. So can we go to? There we go. There is a way. I know we. I know it's possible. Control click. There we go. So we've got the large airport there, so Nantburg. There's no reason why that needs to be such a small airplane. Uh, and there's clearly enough passengers for it to accommodate uh, one of the big dingers. So let's get a big dinger in there. I need to stop saying big dinger, that sounds weird. <laughs> so that's that, we can put the buildings back on again. Yeah, so there we go. So there's been, you know, like I say, a few other bits you may notice that you don't remember or that sort of thing. Uh, but they, those are all the major ones. So today was going to be expanding the oil. I want to try and get this going crazy. Uh, I want this to be running full pelt pretty much. So I think we could do with some more, certainly on this end. So I'm going to make another oil tanker and I'm going to send him there first. You know, he can get going because he's going to be slow. And let's start doing these ones here. Like I said, I can't remember exactly where all these go. But I know roughly up here somewhere. Maybe I only did these run hall ones. Uh, I, these ones don't seem to have been done because they got nothing waiting. Yeah, nothing. That's very low. Then eighteen thousand. Twenty-four. Thirty. 
54. He's going to have no problem with those four. So that's going to help it stay on top of everything. Uh, let's do another one. Seeing as that wasn't wasn't much, we we can we can do another one. So we'll get him going to there. So we did what these four. So let's do one, two, no, oh, two, three, and getting port being visited. No, it's not. So let's do four. Weird. Four. Okay, so getting port forty. 108, there's a good one. 81. 18. Again. You should be fine. So, that's a little top up for, for the boats. <coughs> oh, voice, come on. So, these trains should be able to handle it. I mean, look, they're both there. They're both patiently waiting for oil. Yeah, even even now, even with him coming in, he's he's got a full load. He's probably not even going to trouble this one too much. If there is any left over, if he ends up getting full, then uh, there won't be much left over on the platform. 94, 97, 99, 4, not 29 litres, 29,000 litres, sorry, that's nothing, really. Uh, but here comes another 350, and that's going to be fine. Here comes another one, another one with 350, so yeah, that'll be fine for the next train that comes back. So they're staying on top of things at the minute, which is good. But, again, planes are where it's at. So let's get some airports in. Do not want a small airport. I want metrop uh, metropolitan, even metropolitan, metropolitan <laughs> airports at a minimum, because they have two runways as opposed to a single one for the city. Um, the hub airports are good, but they don't offer much of a benefit except for the uh, intercontinental one which has four runways so a large metropolitan one will do just fine I am going to pop an airport down here Nantport Beaches I think deserves an airport to be honest so does Dundon but I don't know where I'd put it yeah, I, could, I could put it here but it wouldn't get very many passengers and out here is weird so that's no good. Goddingstone looks like it needs something, doesn't it? It's, it's a big, it's a big town. But again, there's nowhere really good to put it. Let's see any other big towns that might have somewhere nice. I've already got train servicing uh, Runwich here. And again, there's nowhere obvious to put it that will get it a decent uh, amount of passengers. Regular Nantburg's already got a, uh, an airport, albeit just a city one, but it, it's doing alright. I've got some old trains I'm going to need to take care of in a minute. Uh, St. Cairnworth, again, nowhere obvious to put it. Out here would be good, but it's just too many houses I'd have to destroy. Look at Freeditch. Freeditch has one of the bigger airports and it is completely surrounded. <laughs> Servicing both Freeditch and Tondine. That's ridiculous. But awesome. In, ridiculous in a good way. Now I've got this tiny airport here which I, I can't do anything about now. It's, it's stuck in the middle. I could put something on the outskirts here of Lalo and Old Tree Town, Tretton. I could put it there. I'd get a bit of Metminster as well. 
if that makes sense. Should we try that? Let's get rid of that and see if we can plop that there. And what I think I might try is do we have anything small? Maybe like a helicopter. Oh no, there's too many passengers there for a helicopter. That's just no good, is it? So what, what do we have on the new aircraft list that is small? So that's large. Obviously, that's large. We've got the Kelling K1. Uh, that's 65 passengers. The Yate Z shuttle, or Z shuttle if you're American. Uh, 85 passengers, that's also a small aircraft. And at the moment, looking like probably the better option because it takes more passengers, albeit less mail. You can still get a small little dinger. Uh, 85 and 10 again. But they're, they're getting old, so they probably won't they probably won't be around much longer. Uh, the same with the uh, the Yate Aerospace plane, and then these air taxis, these are all large airplanes, aren't they? So it looks like the uh, the Yate Z shuttle, or the Z shuttle, is going to be the right one. Just solely because of the number of passengers it can take. I'm not fussed about the mail. So let's buy one of them. Send it there. I should probably send it to here first. And with it being a short trek, it may make up for the fact that it can't take a lot of passengers like the larger aircraft can. Uh, so he's going there anyway, never mind. Let's just make sure he can land. He did, he didn't crash. Uh, you can barely see this airport. He's not going to make much of a dent, but yeah, the, like I say, the speed with which he uh, can get to and from this airport uh, might make it enough to actually help. And he landed there no problem and we'll get a round of applause in a minute for being the first airplane there it goes so that's that airport and we'll make oh, another new aircraft in the form of a, well it's going to have to be a dinger 200 pretty much exclusively use dinger 200s and their uh, big brother 1000s you are going to go to the other new airport, which was all the way up here. But I'll make a fast one, a 1000, and I'll tell it to go to the same orders as this plane. So I'll copy the orders. So, two planes on the exact same flight path. Uh, one will get there way before the other one. <laughs> so there goes the dinger taking off, or the, the 200 taking off. And off goes the 1000. Hot on its tail. There it goes, shot right past it like it wasn't there. Don't even know where they are. I can't, they're so small, can't see them. Is that it there? Yep, there it is. That's definitely it. Well, the other one's a third of the speed. Looks like it's barely moving. This one's probably going to be able to get to this airport, load up, of which of course it won't because there's no one there yet. But it will load up, turn around and go back. Probably before the other one's even got here. Where is it? It should be... There it is. So it's just going to fly now over Old Barkham Rivers, which has no river going through it. Well done AI for that one. It's 
So the thousand got there, <laughs> did whatever it needed to do, and has loaded up and is heading back. And the other one is just flowing over Goddingstone now. Do we think the 1000 will get back to Old Tree Town Airport before <laughs> before the 200 gets to here? I don't think it can, but it won't be that far behind. So there's the 200 finally landing. And the, oh, the thousand's still in flight. So he's, it was, it, I was wrong. It was, it was a bit of a way off. There he goes. It wasn't that far, actually, was it? <laughs> anyway, these, those two will go. Hopefully, uh, make some more money. Let's have a look, see where else where we can put uh, an airport. There we've got. Uh, not really enough space there, but that's terrible ratings. 31% that's pathetic this is going to need a bit of an upgrade isn't it and this has got he's got lots of passengers this one should have oh look most of his passengers are going to go here aren't they yeah that's why so my competitor over here the uh, the great Whitport transport Mr Hamilton is stealing my passengers from from Run Hall to Run Hall Central. Where does Run Hall Central go? Somewhere more useful, maybe. So I definitely need to do something about here. A great deal, and they're old and probably can't be replaced because they're old diesels, and we're we're in the 2027s. Uh, where's me? There's my thing, what we got. Yep, no diesels available now. So those would have to be replaced by an electric train. So I'll let him, I'll let him unload here. And then I'm gonna make a nice big train no nope, just go he's gonna go straight to the depot and I'm gonna replace him with a <laughs> much bigger and faster version that's gonna take advantage of the full size of this platform because it doesn't have to be tiny and these stations can provide a decent amount of people now they're up in the thousands so there's definitely going to be the people there so let's try and get some more of those people moving. So what was the size? It was five, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five. So let's say bye-bye to the old diesel junk. Do we go with a uh, crazy fast or just fast? Crazy fast is more expensive and doesn't it's what it takes up two uh, two slots as the single one will only take up one so I think that's probably going to be just fine uh, now I need some passenger okay, well, you know, let's do mail first let's do two mail that takes me to 2.5 and then fill the rest up to five and then in a moment he should get going and start being helpful. He'll be a lot faster than the old pieces of junk that's slowly dragging his heels around. And there he is. There, there are literally only two on here. Wow. Uh, I've got a ship with a void order. That means one of the um, ore rigs has disappeared. I'm not going to worry. I'm going to let train 9 get a bit further around. Oh look, the new train has already caught it up. It's that slow and that useless. So what kind of what kind of speeds are we looking at here? 75 miles an hour. 
and this one here does what 110 so yeah, it's a lot faster it can carry a whole lot more people 94 200 passengers 60 bags of mail and 40 bags of valuables compared to just 120 passengers so this guy is going the same way as the old one so two mail vans no nope. There we go. Uh, should I put valuables on here so they both take valuables with them? Makes sense, wouldn't it? You know what? I'll, I'll make it just one valuable cart and then the rest can be passengers. And now he can go. How is New Whitting to to New Whitting Whithatton on Sea? Even it's not even no, it is on Sea, I guess. Uh, well, Whithatton on Lake. It's doing all right. There's a lot of passengers, but I'm definitely on top of mail, so that's good. Ratings are very good and excellent. That's good to see. Now, next up, Melbury. So, new train comes in, unloads and starts to gobble up as much as it can. Uh, it's only 60 bags of mail, but I imagine we could probably do something about that uh, over time, obviously. What I will do. I'm going to clone him and we're going to have a third train running. Rather than just two small ones, I'm going to have three large ones. And with any luck, that will get the ratings up. That's that's the plan anyway. So, wait, wait there's a bank there. And there's a bank there. So just two banks. Does this? No, it doesn't have valuables. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't matter. So as long as uh, as long as there's definitely two banks on the go, that's all that matters. But I want to see these ratings go up. I want them. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's on command almost. So we're up to fifty percent already. Um, I mean, every everything is going to be going. Let's face it; they'll be able to take all the mail, all the passengers. Uh, we're in a good time as well, I'd say. So. There's no reason why that shouldn't keep going up. Especially as there's a new train coming through pretty quickly. Right, the cars are being blown up. I've got a ship here with no no profit. How have you got no profit? Where are you? Oh, you're all the way down here and you go to one literally one place mole bridge oil field which is that one oh, that's got tons so how about you go to here as well and there there you go plenty his his um, profit will go back up again I couldn't help but notice there was a lot of very old planes knocking around. Plane 14. Look at that. What speed is that? 200 miles an hour. I'm surprised it's still in the air. Plane 18. Also, look at it. Smoke coming out the back. That's not good. Okay, just those two planes then. Free ditch and travel. So there's travel. So that one's lining up. So 18 is lining up and ready to go. 14's off to Free Ditch. Where's Free Ditch in that bird? It's 
it's got a way to go that one Jeez, I'm gonna shot past it. Where is Friedrich? Oh, there it is. So he's also he's not on approach, but he is uh, he is getting there. Oh, got some new trains coming in. Am I? I mine. I am. I have Maglev. <gasps> Okay, it's going to be some serious upgrade time coming. Let's just get these planes sorted though. Because, well I say planes, there's trains I need to do as well. So I will do those in a moment. There you go, it's plane 14 on approach. Hopefully it doesn't crash. It's down safe. And he should go straight into the uh, straight into the hangar here, where it would stop. And he can be ditched and replaced for a newer, same speed, but um, larger capacity. Not by much, but it's enough either way. Uh, the, the trains, they're, they're bound to have some old ones. Yeah, no, there's one. So we've got just train 16. Oh, we have old trains. Yeah, just train 16. Uh, let's zoom in on him. And send him off to the depot, which is one of these. Don't know which one yet. We'll find out when he gets there. It's that one at the end there. Okay, then he goes. He gets the upgrade. Or well, renewed, certainly. Right. My recording clock is getting high, so what I'm going to do is end episode 8 now. Been a bit of a boring episode, I do apologise. But the next one, episode uh, episode 10, is going to be Maglev. I'm going to go Maglev upgrades on some pretty large uh, train systems. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see... Uh, how quickly that can be done and uh, how much it's going to set me back in terms of money. I mean, I've got 500 million. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, let's see, have I, have I made any inroads here at all in catching these guys? I don't think so. i am still only got a third of the, these two. But I'm, I'm getting there slowly, very slowly. So, for those of you watching, thank you very much for joining me. Um, if you like these episodes, please give it a like. Um, if you really like them, please subscribe. And if you want to get a notification when the episodes are released, uh, click that bell icon and uh, you'll never miss an episode again. So, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next episode.